Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Venus conjunct Uranus in a natal chart. Now some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. They were a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up as well. Uh, if you have Venus conjunct Uranus in the natal chart, there may be a very intense love, you know, which is Venus, um, you know, for attaining uh, goals and aspirations, which is uh, Uranus. Now, um, let's say you know if one has Uranus and Scorpio as an example, you know, those goals and aspirations may be tied in with psychology, locksmithing, um, embalming, working as a coroner, a surgeon, working in a forensics or investigation, doing something with the occult, which includes astrology, as uh, some examples, and also to Now, next thing, if you have uh, Venus, this aspect in a natal chart, it may also manifest in having you no know, tremendous inspiration, which is Uranus, in uh, making money, which is, uh, which is Venus. Now, let's say if the um, you know, conjunction is in Libra, as another example, one may make money uh, doing something with arbitration or you know, working in a you know, legal field such as a paralegal, attorney, bailiff, a judge as some example, something with negotiation, arbitration, um, even scales, whether it be scale design or production, I would say, you know, scales are connected with Libra, you know, being about balance. And the thing too is the thing um, with Venus conjunct Uranus, uh, you may strongly, you know, value which is uh, Venus, you know, ingenuity, innovation, which is uh, Uranus. You know, now going back to uh, you know Scorpio as an example, if Uranus is in um, Scorpio, then you know, there may be you know ingenious, you know, ideas connected with locksmithing or. You know, even trash or refuge or, or things that are associated with recycling or transformation that you, um, you know, strongly value. If uh, Uranus is an Aquarius, as another example, you know, there may be, you know, ingenious ideas that are connected, um, you know, computers, electronics, astronomy, uh, meteorology, aviation. You know, those things, you know, you may have, you know, certain, you know, strongly value as an example. Also true, the self-worth, which is Venus, may be strongly, you know, connected with altruism and, and selflessness, selfless actions, which is uh, Uranus. Now, if you have, um, you know, Uranus and Aquarius, this may be really tied in, you know, with humanitarian, you know, endeavors. It may be, you know, helping, you know, those... You know, using new technology, it could be providing, you know, um, computers, you know, to inner city schools, as an example. You know, um, computers is, is Aquarius and, you know, things of that nature. And, you know, if Uranus is in Pisces, as, as another example, it could be, you know, selflessness that may be expressed that are, that's connected, you know, with the less fortunate, you know, which would include the impoverished, the homeless, the oppressed, and the hungry. Also, too, there may be a lot of, you know, inspiration, which is Uranus, um, for, um, for art, you know, artistic endeavors, which is Venus. And, you know, let's say, you know, Venus is in Pisces. You know, that could be like abstract art, fictional, you know, fantasy art, Venus and Aquarius could be art that's very unique, unusual. Um, it could be, you know, science fiction, futuristic art. It could be art that is done, you know, on the computer. Um, also, too, in, as far as artwork again goes, I mean, which is Venus may again be very unique and unorthodox, which is... Uh, you know, Uranus. So, another thing, too, about this aspect is that, you know, your relationships, which is Venus, may also be, you know, somewhat unorthodox, and it may be ones where there's a lot of freedom connected with it, and also where a lot of altruism and selflessness, which is Uranus, is expressed 
um, as well. And the thing about you know um, this is if you have going to Aquarius again as an example, you know that may be expressed. You no know, altruism in those relationships may be expressed with computers helping those with electronic issues or electrical issues. You know, saying one's home as um, an example. And uh, another thing too is that if you have Venus conjunct Uranus in an natal chart, it may also manifest in desiring, you know, those groups which is Uranus that are, you know, that are peaceful and having that peace and tranquility in them, which is Venus. Now, let's say if, um, you know, Uranus is in Capricorn, as an example, those groups may be, you know, connected you know, with business or something with politics or the government. It may be something connected you know, with construction or architecture. There may be a lot of older people um, in them. It may be something associated with management, you know, as uh, some examples. And the thing, too, is if you have, um, you know, there may be you know, unusual growth, which is Uranus. It could be in the neck, the throat, the thyroid, kidneys, or lower back. Um, which is Venus and you know going to Aquarius again as an example they may be you know more intermittent maybe more nerve related I mean Uranus has a connection with the nerves anyway so there could be issues with what I mentioned that's connected anatomically with Venus that may be more nerve related it could be um, so it could be issues that are very sporadic erratic and intermittent as uh, some example you know as you know really that's how it may you know manifest and also to the um the talents and abilities which is uh venus you know maybe tied in with um you know computers you know, electronics innovation astrology astronomy you know meteorology aviation as uh, some examples and Let's say if you have, um, you know, this conjunction in Capricorn, there may be more concentration, you know, connected with this, you know, more, more single-minded focus, seriousness, and it may be tied in more, you know, with one's ambitions and, you know, and, and one's, you know, social status as well. Now, another thing, too, is that, you know, the income, the money, which is Venus, you know, may be sporadic, which is Uranus. Um, in some cases now let's say you know if Venus is in um, Sagittarius you know the money that may be made you know may be connected with publishing advertising printing press operation something connected with sports the outdoors campaign it could be you know, college teaching as some examples and let's say as another example let's say if um, Venus is in Virgo you know, there may be something, you know, um, you know income you know, may be associated with analytics, statistics, health and fitness, you know, nutrition, working as a dietitian, something that involves organizing, such as working as a professional organizer, as some examples. Now, also, too, there may be very, you know, like unpredictable, shocking, even sporadic, which is Uranus, uh, legal issues. Um, which is Venus. Now, let's say, you know, if Venus is in Scorpio, as an example, you know, those legal issues may be tied in with support or, you know, a, uh, could be a will, an inheritance, estates. It could be dealing, you know, with something with an, you know, an intimate, you know, uh, connection. You know, um, as some examples, maybe there's a, it's a death, you know, um, you could, you know, anything Scorpio related. Now, also, too, um, you know, the thing is, um, and, and also, you know, the thing is, you could also be where, um, you know, legal issues, too, may be associated with a group, club, or organization, you know, which is uh, Uranus. You know, if Uranus is in Sagittarius, you know, group groups, clubs, or organizations may be connected with something sports related, publishing, the outdoors, you know, something with printing press operation, um, as some examples. And also too, 
Uh, if you have Venus conjunct Uranus in an angle chart, another way it may manifest could be having, you know, unusual or unorthodox, which is Uranus, you know, a way of expressing, you know, your sentiments, which is Venus, which could be, I mean, let's say, you know, Venus is in um, Leo as an example, it may be in a very flamboyant way as well, you know, just skywriting some message to somebody that you love them. So, Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.